Ladies and gentlemen, now I will finalize the presentation for the company of Eggersmann. I need a time around 10 minutes and I don't want to show you facilities. I want to explain you a process, how it works, so that you understand why we need these devices. So at first, we have to talk about drying. Why we dry the waste? Some people would think, these idiots, what they are doing with waste. Now we do this drying because there are some requirements when we need waste as a fuel. And we can use this drying process for normal municipal solid waste and also for sludge. And when you have in your mind that we have in Germany, for example, a waste with around 40 to 45 percent of water, then we have to reduce it to lift up the calorific value. These are numbers in Germany. When you talk about development countries or threshold countries, the water content of the municipal solid waste is higher than 60 percent. So drying is a very important part. When we want to produce a fuel, or I named it RDF, for cement facilities, then you have to dry the waste from 50 up down to 20 percent. So at first we have to learn when we want to produce a fuel, a high quality fuel, then we have to dry it. Some requirements from the industry, from the cement industry. The requirement is at first we need high choleric components. That means when we use the fuel as the calciner, we need a quality up to 14, 14 megajoule per kilogram. When you think in, uh, in other dimensions, kilocalorie, you are the area of 4,000 to 5,000. But you have in your mind, we need more than 40,000, but we have, for example, in German, seven, or in development countries, we have only five. So we have to lift up the calorific value by drying. Next step, the amount of ashes in a fuel for cement facilities have to be in this area from 5 to 20 percent. So that means in general you have to reduce the mineral fraction. This is one requirement. But when you want to dry a waste to lift up the energy, then on one hand the drying process is responsible for lift up the energy but also taking out minerals. one point for example 20 percent water content you have to be lower 20 percent water content and there are some other requirements you have to reduce sulfur you have to reduce chlorine and you have to reduce some different kind of heavy metals like mercury cadmium etc etc so that means your waste has a quality it's impossible as a raw material take it for cement facilities. You have to treat this waste to lift up the quality. One point of the quality is the caloric value, the second the amount of minerals and the third the amount of poison components. So we have a lot of technologies. There are some physical technologies you see on the red and we have some more or less biological one. One is the aerobics, the biological drying, and the other one is the solar drying. Solar drying is the most e efficient one, but you can't use it for waste, you can use it only, sorry, you can use it only for sludge. And this solar drying still working in Germany and other countries. So we focused on aerobic drying. The background is the energy demand of this biological process is much more lower 
according or comparing to physical systems like a belt dryer or like drum dryer. So, how the process is working, how the process of drying is working? It's very simple. This is a compost pile. Normally I want to show. Here you see the compost pile. From the bottom you blow in cold air. And that means cold air means dry air. And when you see here this simple physical system, the higher the temperature the air has, the higher is the water hold capacity. And with this, the composting process starting, lift up the temperature, lift up the temperature of the air, and so the air of 30 degrees can carry 30 grams, and the, the air with 50 degrees can carry 80 grams. This is a simple system of, sorry, this is a simple system of aerobic drying. What happened with the calorific value of different waste components? For example, you see here paper. Paper starts with 5,000 uh, kilojoule per kilogram by 30% of dry matter. That means 70% of water. When you lift up the dry matter to 80%, that means you reduce the water content from 60%, 70% to 20%, then you lift up the calorific value by around 15 to 20,000. This is the process. The same you can see, uh, can see when you uh, look, for example, for diapers. Reducing the water, by reducing the water, you lift up the calorific value. Very simple system. But there is another very important part you have to consider when we talk about drying. This is low water content reduce the adhesive power or effects between different waste components. That means the lower the water content, the lower is the agitation so the separation is much more easier. This is a very important part for the following steps when you want, when you have to treat your waste. For example, screening is much more easier, wind shifting, NIR te technology, ballistic separates, and an end. The efficiency of this technology is better when you have a dry waste wa uh, comparing to wet waste. The last three pictures, why? A turning system has a lot of influence on the quality of the waste. A turning system, I s you see it here in small, and this is the turning system from the company of Ergesmann. What happened with the waste? At first, when you turn the waste in the first 10 days, one time, two times, maybe three times, you crush the waste. And another very important part is you dissolution. You have the dissolution of agglomerates. That means again, additional to the drying process, you have the improvement of the processing properties. Again, for screening, wind shifting, and an end. So, at the end, we see again the requirements. Only with the combination of drying and this mechanical treatment by this kind of turning system, you are able to produce high quality RDF products, but also you can produce some components you take out of the process, for example, the minerals. These minerals are in this quality that you can use it in every area of, for example, of construction, for example, in the street construction. So, short summary. A waste has a bad quality in, her, in the original situation. When you want to produce a fuel, 
you have to treat the waste. First point is reduce the water content and second point is taking out components who destroy the process and who reduce the quality of the cement. Thank you very much. So if there are some questions, please ask.